Hey guys, welcome to shop. It's starting to get warm out here in California. Summer's coming on. July is just around the corner. A couple things I want to talk to you about. First off, shout out to my friend in Maine, Burton Philbrick. Look at this. March, that's my birthday. Write that down in your calendar, March, and look, it says KP on it. Thank you, dude. Uh, next thing is, look at this. This is my first four string coffee can guitar love this thing um, it's got another artist this is actually a quilt pattern here um, but it has a piezo I like that and of course 750 coil Okay, so I'm going to deliver this to an artist, a local artist, in uh, Hollywood tomorrow afternoon. Do you know this music? I'm going to meet him at a restaurant. Anyway, um, we'll get some footage of that. Let me get this out of the way. Um, listen, you might have noticed a couple little slight editing changes in the quality of my video. Might have gotten a little bit better. My daughter Kendra, she gives me hell in some of the episodes, has finally put me onto a MacBook. And, um, and so what I'm doing is I'm taking uh, movies and clips and things off of other computers and other hard drives and putting them all together. And I started looking around and saying... Um, Wow, I've had quite a few artists play my guitars. And so what this episode is, is number one, a thank you to the artists that have played my guitars. Because, you know, working and living in L.A. is kind of a good thing because people come in. Um, there's kind of an underground blues scene going on here. So I have access to the artists. But regardless, these artists are good people. Um, and they're very patient, you know, it's their job and sometimes we forget when we're bum rushing them with our guitars that they're actually doing this for a living and they got the next town to get to. So I very much appreciate your patience. But let's run through a number of artists playing my guitars in this episode and I'll see you at the end. Shit. The Maxbook Collection. Where's my slide at? Oh yeah.
to hear you play it. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> I don't know how you can play it though.
was a tra traveling gospel singer in the early 20s. And he was framed for murder and sentenced to the electric chair. And he wrote a book about the story. And then a man by the name of Ken Falsgraf heard the story and he, he builds custom guitars and junk, junk instruments such as this contraption here, which is made out of a coffee can. And uh, on the side we put, uh, it's called the switch of death. It's the very first schematics for the first electric chair back in the day. And uh, it's kind of a nasty little creature. And I, I kind of came up with the uh, cover tune that kind of works on it. Try it out on you here tonight. Such faith. There's the man Scott H. Byram with Sandra's guitar.
guys that's it i love that collection again i'm pretty fortunate hey but before i forget the subscribe button is coming up uh, uh, don't hurt yourself notify yourself so uh you'll get noticed every week when my videos come out um hey burton philbrick thank you again and um look for this one i think in in videos coming up because this guy loves to play trash He sure can play better than me, that's for sure. I will see you next time.